Not enough men who look like hipster koala bears have had their time in the spotlight. So Blinky Bill was the last motherfucker like me to have a voice. It's oh time that God. I take it back. The reason why I'm into dungarees. Welcome to another episode of Comedians in Bars Getting Blind. This week, we are incredibly lucky to have one of the Fringe Ambassadors joining us. A man who needs no introduction, but he did make sure that I was going to let him introduce himself several times. Hello, so. my name's Ruben Kay. I'm an actress, I'm a model, and I'm the real reason Peter Dutton's buying all those tanks. <laughs> I wasn't sure which one you were going to go with, but I'm glad you, you know, went with that one. Do you know one. what? My favourite one has always been I'm the sixth ring at the Beijing Olympics that nobody's talking about, but it's now gone. It's dated. God. It's oh, over. Goodness. So I went and saw Ruben's show the other night, which is how I ended up getting him to come on my show, which is absolute networking, folks. Um, it's true. Best thing that he said in the show is I'm, <laughs> I've fucked more acrobats than the Cirque du Soleil legal team, and that really tickled me. That was one of my favourite jokes in the entire show, so kudos on that one. The best comedy comes from truth. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I like better than like a lot of MDs. DMA and a loose hamstring. <laughs> now, um, what we're doing today, Ruben, yes. is we are drinking three. Do you want to? Yeah, I'm just sorry. This is die with dignity, Elmo. I'll just have to put this away. What we're doing today is we've got three dessert wines in front of us, as requested by yourself. I'm a child, and my booze has to have a lot of sugar in it because I want to give my pancreas a workout. There we go. Um, what we've got are three different price points. So mm -hmm. one of these is about seven dollars a bottle. Mm -hmm. One of them is about ninety dollars a bottle, and one mm -hmm. of them sits nicely in the middle at about thirty dollars a bottle. Oh, nice. That's a nice scale of kind of what. Oh no, I thought I could make a joke there, but I actually don't have one. There we go. I'm Keep not paying going. you for new material. I'm aware. Or apparently to iron your shirt. No. But hey, we're here for fun. I would love to pay someone to iron my shirt. If there's anyone out there who can do it real cheap, please get in contact with get me. Get on Fiverr or find a kink website. Somebody's got a laundry fetish, a maid fetish. Is that a thing? Sorry, don't look at me as if like it's surprising to a straight white male that like laundry find... fetishes are a thing. There are people thing. who are fin subs, like financial submissives who just let people spend their money as part of their kink. So you could definitely find someone. No, 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 cut this. Tell, tell me off stage. Tell me off stage. I want to know about these people. This I need isn't it. isn't technically a stage. It's off screen. But good on That's you. I'm proud of you. Now, which one would you like to start with? So we've got the antique water pourer, we've got the French press and the jug. Oh my goodness me. I the antique the water pourer, yes. the French press and the jug. Or the jug. The jug. Okay. I'm going to, I really should know this because I'm an aesthete and kind of one of those upper middle class shamed homosexuals. I really should know. The richness of the wine, is it indicated by the color and um, opacity? Okay, so what, what you've do you done. Educate me a little. What bit. you've done is made the mistake of confusing me with someone who knows what we're doing. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would assume that the richness of the color probably indicates a little bit more sweetness, therefore a little bit more alcohol in there. I wasn't listening. I'm gonna go for the cafetiere. <laughs> cafetiere, I've traveled to London. That's what they call these things. Uh, cafetiere, do we need to just plunge it first? I think it would be like... safest. Yeah, okay. Is it, just to really help. It, mm, it doesn't look awful. I mean, it, it, it wasn't a smooth motion, but what is if you don't? Ladies first. Oh, thank you so much. Pleasure. Mm. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, and that's like a nice tasting moment that for you. That is a nice little tasting moment. That's, that's beautiful. So, <laughs> yeah. self-serve, love that. <laughs> no one else is doing it. Hey, to our good health. Oh, you know, that's a nice little clink, It's a lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? This... Okay, straight off, I'm gonna say this is on a lower price point. I. Yeah, look, I'm not trying to steer the witness, but I'm, I agree. I'm going to say, just by the smell, because I do know that when you're getting fancy mm. with dessert wines, yeah. a, um, a, a quality people look for is a slight kerosene on the nose. Okay. Like, um, which sounds so unappetizing. It does, doesn't but it? But frequently, the tastiest things have an unappetizing bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> like fish. Like, sure. That's what I was... Referencing. That is... Um, 
unmistakably vile. I was going to say awful. That is going to be my. Why word. do I have so much of it? Yeah, in the, no, it's uh, interesting. What we can do is we can grab one of the lovely. It isn't so much a dessert wine as it is sort of like um, an easy off bam. I was going to say punishment kind of moment. Yeah, well, I'm certainly a glutton for punishment, <laughs> but this feels like it needs to have the um, uh, the spray and wipe theme song. Do you remember that? Ajax. Dun, Ajax, spray and wipe. Thank you. Ajax, Ajax spray and wipe. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yes. um, so that's that's just lovely. What, we're, what so. we are able to do is pour it into the spittoon here if you'd like to. Oh, or we, we can don't just dump just... it straight back into the sauce. No, Look, I, no I one's going to drink that. What do you mean no one's going to drink this? Well, you could use it for cooking. <laughs> or if you've got to deglaze a pan. High praise, isn't it, when it comes to wines like that? I know. Do we get some coffee beans to clear our aroma, our, our nasal passages? Uh, okay, so you know that I haven't ironed my shirt, so you think I've got money for like coffee beans pre-wines. No, I was assuming Hamish, the gorgeous proprietor of this stunning venue might have because they seem so together. Do you have any coffee beans, Hamish? Only coffee. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I want, I like part of me wants to go for this antique pouring drug that looks like it should have poison on the thing. Yes. But I'm a, I'm a sucker for a wide neck. Mm, let's go. Um, what's on the side of this? Oh, is this like a vintage 1947 quality quality glass? Yeah, I can show you the receipt from Kmart where I bought it last week. Goodbye. Where's the exit? <laughs> can I just... Sorry, it's designer, Ruben. It's designer. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, yeah, come on. on. Shall we pour? I think we shall. I just want to like... I hope it's better than the last one. I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm going to say that what I'm smelling actually here is um, possibly whatever you've used to clean the bottle. Adelaide um, tap water, so that could smell like all sorts of things. Oh, yeah, but it gives a good chew. It does give a good chew. Right, I like that colour. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, one sec. Okay, okay. Oh, are we stopping and smelling now? We're stopping and smelling the roses? Oh, we can Just always... let's remind ourselves. Just remind yourselves yeah. of the utter fucking swill you tried to poison me with. Look. It smelled nicer than the taste. Yes. It's, it, it smells like sweeter and it has got, can I say now I'm smelling again, it has got that slight gasoline-y, like a in the 90s you'd bathe a senior citizen in it. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that when this, they bathed all the senior citizens in kerosene for the scabies outbreaks in elderly care homes? I was actually five years old in the 90s. I so. fucking hate you. Yeah. It smells a lot more like what I expect a dessert wine to smell yeah, like. Yeah, it's actually not as strong on the bouquet, but I think we've just assaulted. Yeah. That like, we've, yeah. Just done a, we've just done a, an at-home rat test. Yes, exactly. Very, and very indelicately. I just love the smell of, um, oh. like, raisins and... You like raisins, wait until you taste it. Oh, oh fuck, fuck me in me the mouth. dead, that's like, good. Oh, yeah. But it's so, it's not... You know how like dessert wines get really sticky and cloying and they're like, mm. you get that sugar melt all over your tongue? Yeah, it's like you've been licking a toffee apple sort of thing. I love it. Yeah. But also, this is so light. It's so light. Like, this would be fine for children. If I believed in children as a concept, I'd encourage it. Okay, I, I know that you say everything's a concept, but I've seen children, they exist. Everything's a concept. Oh, goodness. You've seen, you've seen wealth and wealth is a concept. You've seen gender and gender is a concept. And if gender is a concept, how do I put a concept in my mouth? Do you know what I always say? about dessert wine is that it's, the real test is if you pour it on vanilla ice cream. I mean, we could take a brief moment and get some vanilla ice cream if you'd like to. Let's do it. Be back in five. Just look at the way the corner piece just comes away with a nice dangle. That is a lovely element to that cream. I'll just give you a little. Yeah, could you spoon it? I'm just gonna there. give you like it's a teeny bit give more. Give it to me more. Yeah, oh just, yes, oh. that's the perfect temperature for ice cream as well. Yeah, it is. It's really. This is gonna make for great B roll. Just <laughs> two blokes absolutely struggling to serve. 48 flavors. If you're watching, don't employ us. Oh yeah, 48 flavors. No, absolutely sponsor this channel yeah. and me. It, I good. think the best thing when you're tasting dessert ice cream is mm. to fuck your palate over with um, dairy, heaps of sugar, and lactose. Yeah. Are you lactose intolerant? Nah. Great. Well, I am. We got a 20 minute time frame before I turn into <laughs> Old Faithful. Try. No. Give it a little stir. Give it a little stir. And and try it. 
and don't tell me that that is not sort of like nectar of the gods. Yeah, yeah. fuck me up, that's good. That's very good. Ruben K, changing lives. You understand what's going on. Hamish, do you want to taste this? Yeah. I think you need to. I don't, it's fantastic. It's this one. It's not bad. That's pretty good dessert. It's, it's not a pretty a bad good dessert. dessert. Hey, and that's for free from us to you. I'm having a lot of fun here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, so I'm gonna start arranging these already in order of preference. Mm. With the one that I don't like, the furthest away from me. So, so if you could put this in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> She's got, she's got oomph. Oh she's got sass. She's once, twice, three times a lady. I'm looking forward to her. Oh, Oops. yes. Yeah, Lovely. right. Mm. I Decadent. Mean, I, $4 word. It really is. Yeah. If this was Put Scrabble. That down on the Scrabble. <laughs> my goodness, you'd be winning, but you'd be bottoming later. All right, cheers. Can you measure if the glass broke then? That'd be terrifying. Oh, that's big and not, I don't know. I think I ate too much ice cream. <laughs> yeah, you are going to cheat yourself sweet. in about eight minutes, aren't you? <laughs> it's, Less... I'm, I need more water. <laughs> <laughs> it's less sweet than the second one it's that we had. It's less sweet, but but kind of it's actually got like a pleasing flavour to it, mm. and like a more complex thing going this on. This might so I think that like some of the some of the sweetest men you'll ever meet are sort of like high school sweetheart. Here's a dumb treat. question: Here Is this go. a sherry? Um, I can't because it has a dry remember. finish. It could be. It's so, got a dry finish, and dessert wines in my normal like muscats, 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 in muskets and things like that. They're a bit more wet. Yep. And a bit more sweet, but this has a dry. It does have a very dry finish. So that's why I think it's uh, possibly a, a sherry, a Jimenez. It could be a Spanish Amontillado Ooh. because it's got that dry thing going on, which makes me think that it is the more expensive one. Because this one did have on second choice. I'm just gonna have to have a sniff of this. In a second, just let me like... God, I'm so sorry. I just feel like because I dress pretty, but I like sweet things and I'm a, somewhat of a trash bag. I think this is disgusting enough to be not cheap. Oh. You know what I mean? In that okay. like, And I just think that this, it's so pleasing and so fruity and so would please everyone, it's right? It's made for the masses. It's made for the masses. Oh. So I think this is actually the cheaper one. So you've got sort of like a, you, you've got like a, a, a popcorn blockbuster down here that's made for everyone. And this is like a weird art house film that you really have to understand what's going on to appreciate. And that's why it's more expensive and weird. I would say you're, you're kind of there. This is the sweet one that everyone will love. Mm -hmm. No, actually you're talking about how I met your mother. Yep, great. How I yeah, met your yeah, mother. yeah, right there with Then you. you've got um, this one, which is, I would say, I'm going to abandon this because what I'm really getting is I think this is the Frasier. It's difficult, you have to appreciate it. I'm really abandoning this whole concept, it. this whole thing. My whole basis as a comedian has been fraudulently exposed by my inability to come up with a comedy three based on these three fucking wines. Right. Um, you want to take it from the top? I want, uh, please, I'd like to take it from the bottom or better yet, the verse. Right. You fed me booze and sugar, it's your fault. I know. You didn't even have the decency to offer a tranquilizer. Not even a <laughs> Ketamine rim on any of this. You don't know that. Please so. tell me your other job is a vet. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I want that access to the pharmaceuticals cabinet um, and a shoulder length rubber glove. Oh God, I'm meant to be the funny one on this show. Why the fuck did I invite really? you on? No, I know. And here you are, <laughs> dressed like the second last samurai with that delicious, <laughs> the delicious man bun. Sweet, gorgeous one at the bottom. Cheapest. Disgusting one in the middle. middle. Um, complex, not unpleasant, but dry, which makes me think it's European. I think it's a sherry. Happy with this order. So cheap, middle, expensive. That's my going, yep, that's right. my gut. What would you like to reveal first? I want to reveal the cheap first. All right. Lockie, what have we got in the jug? That's the, that's cheap. That's Look at the, the cheap. That's, that's the, the Look cheap. At that. Look at that. I mean, it's not, okay. I never want to like badmouth a brand. No, 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 no. But that is an was, inexpensive bottle. And it was beautiful. Like I, I would, I would drink pints of it. This is the one, this is the one that I enjoyed the most. Yeah, same Z's. Yeah, so. Like in, I would, either end, I could douche in it and everyone would be happy. Oh, absolutely. Now, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, raise the stakes this late in the game. But Lockie, can you reach behind you and grab the crown? 
Because Ruben, you're actually playing for the chance to be the king of dessert wine. Oh, stop it, am I? Yeah, you are. Don't touch it yet. You haven't earned it. Also, why did you assign a masculine patronym? Because you... Why well, wasn't it a queen? Because you literally told me on the way down here that your pronoun, pronouns are he, him. Yeah, therefore, you're a queer you person. Him. And how dare you throw my own words back in my face and make me accountable. How, how dare you make that me accountable for the I'm words that I for. said. If I wanted to be accountable for the words that I'd say, I wouldn't be in the arts and I wouldn't be in politics. That is the straightest white male thing you've said this entire time. I've eaten a pussy or two. Oh my God. <laughs> Aren't you brave? Ate a pussy one time. What a fucking legend. Right. Should be so lucky. Women are queens. Fuck it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the tables are now turned that I'm now the problematic one and you are the savior. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah, fair. Yeah, it's, it's, you, it's, it's time for you to have your time. Uh, I just wish there was more representation of people like me. You know? Not enough men who look like hipster koala bears have had their time in the spotlight. So, Blinky Bill was the last motherfucker like me to have a voice. It's oh time that God. I take it back. The reason why I'm into dungarees. Mid-range. What do we got in the... Uh, what, what did you call it? You've been to London before. What's it called? The... Oh, the cafetiere. Oh, the cafetiere. I know. Isn't that just ridiculous? What is in the cafetiere? It's the mid-range bottle, oh, ladies yes! and gentlemen! The King of Fortified! Just spit on it first to fit it in. There we go. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. That's a beautiful bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Is it it? It is a fucking sherry! Isn't it? You're really good at this. It's a Jerez. Jerez. Can Sorry. I just tell you this right now? So my musical director and very good friend and co-creator Shannon, who makes all the work with me, um, we are very different people. Mm. I am 100 miles a minute and he is the human embodiment of a cynically raised eyebrow. <laughs> he is also a massive coffee and wine snob and continually derides me yeah. the fact that I like sweet things and have no palate and have no education. Boring. And yet, I know we've been working together, Shannon, for five years and created groundbreaking work and we love each other dearly, but fucking up yours. Look yeah. at this shit. Get a big dog up ya! Yeah. Yeah. Get a big dog up you. What a promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my this God. has been so much fucking Ruben, fun. Ruben, I'm so glad that you agreed to Have come Have I been on. the best guest you've ever had? No, but you've been in the top five. Oh, that's all I want. It's, it's like the whole, sixth show. It's a whole hand. <laughs> what? There's only the sixth show you've done. What would you like to plug? Because you've got shows coming up, presumably on the East yes. Coast in the coming yes. months. Yes, I'm going to the Melbourne Comedy Festival uh, for the entire festival. So we start on the 31st of March and we go to the end of April. And we're at the Malt House Theatre. Oh God. It started already. It's like you've been drinking lactose and fortified wine. It's like, what have I done to myself? I'm coming to the Melbourne Comedy Festival uh, for the entire thing. We're taking over the Malthouse Theatre, me and my band, and we're doing a K-Hole, which is our late night club night, queer variety night on April the 9th. The best. At the Max Watts uh, Hi-Fi Bar. It's the old Hi-Fi Bar, but it's Max Watts now, opposite Town Hall. Come down and see us. After that, we're going to Brisbane Comedy Festival. We're coming there for the 5th of May. I know what I'm doing. And that's at the Fortitude Valley Music Hall, which is owned by the guys from Powderfinger. And that's a huge mm, thing. It's a chandelier, it's like a thousand seaters. It's amazing. So come and find us. You can go to rubenk.com for all tickets and merch as well. You can get the I Can't Believe I Douched for this t-shirt. Uh, and uh, the my gender pronoun is talented fan. Ruben, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's, it's been, been an absolute pleasure. Give me a hug. Come I here. thought this was going to be so dumb. I know, we're usually so boring on this channel, and it's but been you've, so you've much elevated fun. us. Also, huge thank you to Hamish and Smoke Lovers for hosting us today. If you get a chance, pop down. It's in the heart of the East End, one of the coolest new bars in Adelaide. They don't often have people like us in here because they've got standards, but honestly, it's one of the best bars in Adelaide, so get down and check it out. Thank you so much for joining us again this week, guys, and we'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. See you in Melbourne at the Comedy Festival or Brisbane Comedy Festival. Mwah. Bye.